Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another update week. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer, developing Inkscape for users' needs and wants. Um, these past few weeks I've been developing uh, multi-page support. Thank you all for, for following along. Uh, before we begin, I want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to my sponsors, sponsors over on Patreon and my sp sponsors on uh, LibrePay. And my sponsors on Buy Me a Coffee. <laughs> I, uh, I opened a Libre Pay because some people um, thought that that might be useful. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to Think Pen Penguin specifically for um, helping me to develop Ink Inkscape for everybody. Um, they make fine, nerdy, uh, free and open source kind of based uh, t shirts and other app apparel. So, thank big thanks to them. Uh, okay, so last week I left you off. I'd basically done a basic implementation of like showing pages on a screen. And this week I was cleaning up the, um, what we now, what we're now calling the view box specifically. This is the part of the SVG, which when you open it in a browser, or you open it up in a uh, image viewer, it's the part that's shown on the screen. Uh, to clear up the code some more, I had a discussion with some other Inkscape developers about what language we want to use when it comes to um, uh, which of these concepts uh, we are labeling. So we've come to the conclusion that um, the, the, the document is everything. It's like the infinite ca canvas in Inkscape. Uh, the view box is the, um, the document as defined by the SVG which is the, the classic page, but it's actually not a page. It's just the view into which the SVG uh, is drawn, which is, uh, as I said, it, it rendered into view, viewers and web browsers and things. And finally, this new co concept of pages, which is an Inkscape exclusive, uh, which uh, describes all the shapes which can appear inside or outside of that view, 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 view box. It's not limited. Uh, and which can then be imported and exported for all other uses. Um, the reason why this distinction is important to make clear is because the code currently uh, confuses all three. So you'll get, for, for instance, when you resize a document, there'll be calls to fun functions that say, you know, like on, resi on document res res resize, the document hasn't resized, it's infinite. So those have been renamed to Viewbox. Uh, and then things that, that talk about pages now need to be renamed so that they talk about uh, the, the view box as well. So that, that, that gets all kind of like shuffled together. And this is mainly just because con conceptually you have to keep it in your head about like which of these boxes we're talking about. Okay, so that's the that's the cleaning task. Um, after I'd finished that, I actually finished that earlier than, than I thought, so I had a bit of time. Uh, I had a discussion with some of the developers. Now, you'll be aware that the implementation that I showed you last week was the naive implementation. And some developers thought that it would be a good idea to have an attempt at the artboard style uh, implementation. And so I had a go. It wasn't actually, it wasn't actually very hard. But I did want to, I, I did want to actually take the opportunity to show you the differences between the two, right? So if you have a page which is just a drawn box on the on the uh, canvas, which you then uh, put some stuff on, the problem with that is that if you move the page, the objects just stay there, right? They just stay wherever they were. So the page and the objects are disconnected from each other, um, which is a disadvantage. But the advantage is, is that you can move an object from one page to another page very easily because they're, they're not really attached to those pages. Those pages are kind of just marking locations where you would hope to export it. And so in order to provide functionality where you can move the whole page around with the, with its context, you have to identify the things that are currently over that uh, rectangle and move them along with the page. It, it, and, and in code, this is like an extra step you have to do in order to do do that in in that in that uh, design. The alternate design is that you make pages out of groups, like a special kind of layer. And this is the the artboard implementation <clears throat> that I talked about. And the disadvantage here is that, uh, as you can see, it's this it's you you can still see the pages and everything, but 
when you move an object internally, uh, they disappear. This this is using groups with clipped paths, so you 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 have a defined bound bound boundary. So don't don't worry about the fact that they actually di disappear. That's just a thing. But you'll notice that um, when you move the object outside of the document boundaries. <clears throat> It's attached to the actual group that it's in, right? It doesn't become detached and then reattached to a new a new page. So moving an object from different pages around is actually much much harder. But moving the whole page around is actually much much easier, right? Because it's a group; it acts just like in any other group that you could you could theoretically move around. And so now you need that extra code to deal with. Uh, placing objects like do you, is, is is cutting an object and then going to another page and pasting it is that okay or is dragging and dropping you now need special code to be able to ha handle cases where you're dropping onto a new page because you you literally have to lift it out of one group and put it into another one so these two implementations are not compatible with each other I have to be able to pick one of them I would be very interested to hear from yourselves about which one you think is uh, more likely to uh, go along with the way that you think about these things and w which of them has the features that you would use the most. Um, and this coming week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and tidy up and, and, and have a, an implementation that I hope will be at least a little bit usable so that people can actually try it out. Um, but that's about it for this week. Thank you all for watching and please share these videos and all the other social media stuff and Thank you very much. I'll see you all next week.